Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, subscribe right now. Hit that red subscribe button and join the love tribe. I have wanted to film this video for such a long time. I don't know, I just keep putting it off and putting it off because it honestly makes me nervous just to talk about it because it's kind of a, it's like one of the hardest things I like deal with in my personal life. The last few days I've just had it heavy on my heart to film it and put it out here. My hope is that maybe I can help someone it's dealing with the same thing. I just think that we need to talk about these things and it doesn't need to be anything to be ashamed of and um, bring it to light. And that's anxiety. Like I have it pretty bad. Like it, like I said, it just depends on like my situation, like what's going on around me. I don't know. And sometimes I don't even know why I have it. And that's honestly the scariest part. Like when I have it really bad, like I literally feel like I'm dying. And I'm like, what is wrong with me? Like something majorly must be wrong. But it's not, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So first of all, I'm just going to talk about like where it kind of started for me and like all that and just kind of like my story on it. Growing up as a kid, like I was super carefree. Like I really didn't, I've always been like a, a planner and like I wanted to, a perfectionist. Never like anxiety, like it never was like I was like nervous, like nothing like that. I was just very carefree, like whatever. Okay, so fourth grade year, we moved over to another town and that's because my father's business is in this other town and so we moved there whatever you know started going to a new school in the town we were living in let me tell you it was super super small like very small like we had we didn't even have a walmart like small i think where i live in now is small like this place is very small and so everybody knew each other whatever like you, we didn't have like a lot of you know big stuff that ever like happened that shook the place this girl came up missing and she was like two grades ahead of me I think she was seventh grade and she comes up missing and so I mean it was a pretty big scary deal and I just remember like I don't know why it just like scared me so bad and I think like especially why it scared me is because I had a little sister and I don't know why I just always thought something was going to happen to her like I always thought she was going to get taken like if I wasn't watching her all the time she was just going to disappear like because I was like, how did this happen to this just this girl like that's two years older than me? Like, how, why did this have to happen? It's kind of where it started. And it really started with me, like I said, like always wanting to know where my little sister Hartley is. I don't know, my mind just went into like overdrive. I was like, what the heck? Like this isn't supposed to be happening. This happens in like bigger cities like New York, LA and like in the movies. I think that's kind of where my like anxiety really like the start of it because that just freaked me out and then I became like I said so obsessed with where my little sister was and just I wanted to always know where my family was make, sh make sure they're safe but you know it, it just kind of went away after like a year or so we moved back to the town that um, I grew up in right now where we're living in right now that was a really loud car that just drove up and so yeah we moved back whatever went through the years and I was like I would get nervous every now and then but nothing like like anxiety like not those kind of like symptoms and like feelings like at all so this is really hard for me to talk about I don't know why because it was so scary and such a like dark moment of my life that it's like kind of like just bringing it all up now well, I'm such a baby but this is like needs to be talked about like I feel like people keep it in so much and when we're talking about it and like you know there for each other it's all good so anyway fast forward to my senior year it was the beginning of the year the first few weeks was great I was like wow I'm a senior like this is awesome like I'm about to graduate this you know graduate high school and go on to the next part of my life and like wow I'm a big kid and I've always dreamed of like being a big kid and like going off to college first few weeks were good and then I don't know why I just remember like one day, like this is legit where like it all started. So I remember one day I was sitting at the lunch table with my best friend McKenna, someone else, I just remember it was like just me and like two other people. And we were just sitting having lunch, like normal day. I just all of a sudden like it, I just like felt like I was falling cause it just like came on. Like it was literally like the room just felt like it was spinning and I just felt like I was falling. And I remember like having to grip the table or the chair I was sitting on and just kind of like I was like I kept having to look down and just like squeeze the like chair to make sure like I was still there like it literally felt like I wasn't there like I was falling everything was just like it's still so hard to explain it because I don't even know and the thing was it literally only lasted like five seven seconds like it was literally just like that it just came on to me I just felt so nervous and I finally like came back and I was like oh wow like what the heck was that 
I just remember it scared me so so bad the rest of the day I was like so full of anxiety like I'd never really felt that bad like of nerves and everything get lightheadedness and just like shaky like terrible that happened and so like I swear the next like few weeks like every day I just like would like was just having anxiety like it just wouldn't go away like normally it would go away after an hour or so but it was just like I had that little panic attack after that it was just like anxiety like every day like every single day the next few weeks I would just be so nervous and there would be moments where I like wasn't it wasn't as bad and like you know I didn't whatever but it was just so bad and like I every day like when I was home from school like I would talk to my mom and just be like mom like I just like I know it's anxiety but like it's like starting to make me feel like physically not great like I remember I just was like shaking like so much of the time and like feeling like lightheaded like I was gonna faint drink so much water because like I always had a dry mouth and I was just like just so restless what's the word restlessness I don't know like I just couldn't like I just couldn't sit and calm down like I constantly had to be like doing something like to like I don't know it's just like I just could not find peace like and it just seemed like it kept getting worse like some days within those weeks that would, wouldn't be as bad but then it would just like it just wouldn't go away and I was literally like I'm going crazy like I must have diabetes like I must have cancer a tumor like I was literally just like what is wrong with me I was still going to school getting up doing normal things but I just felt like I was literally drowning on the inside like and nothing like could help me or like really bring me back down to earth those were like some of the worst weeks of my life like I just remember feeling so scared and just so like alone it was just so scary <sighs> oh my god I hate I don't want to be that youtuber that's crying on camera about her own problems in life anyway I was just feeling literally just like I was falling like all the time like I was falling I never again I had one more of those like real bad panic attacks during those weeks I had two of them like the first one that like kicked off the anxiety I felt like and then I remember I had another one when we were I was like in the car with my mom we were going somewhere this was like I don't know what to do like I'm so tired of feeling like this I don't know like I don't know what to do I felt like I needed to just I had to like go to the doctor because I was like what the heck I was like always like no like I'm not putting chemicals in my body I'm gonna get through this like it's all up here like I can get through this I'm not gonna go and spend money on doctors and like it medication like I'm not doing that but after a few weeks like and I was just like every day like talking to my mom about it my little sister and I just like they're always there for me and like I know they'll talk to me through anything and for how long I want but like I feel like I was starting to kind of stress them out yeah, so a few weeks into it I was finally like okay mom like let's just go to and see what he has to say and just like because I can't like I can't do this anymore we went to the doctor it was real chill whatever he was like oh my god what's going on I just told him I was like I'm literally having such bad anxiety like I don't know I feel like maybe actually something's underlining wrong with me like something's off just can't like rest and like I just feel like sometimes like I'll feel lightheaded and I'll just be shaking so hard and I just don't feel like I'm actually here like I feel like I'm just like looking on the outside I'm not here he was like Presley there is nothing wrong with you it's literally anxiety and I was like well then why do I feel like physically bad and like that and he was like anxiety literally can cause you to feel physically bad because like it is anxiety and you are a hypochondriac and he was like everything that you're thinking and what the devil's telling you is a lie like it's not it's not real like everything you're thinking is not real he was like yeah you have bad anxiety and he was like he literally told me you're one of the worst cases of a hypochondriac I've ever met and I was like oh my god like I didn't even know what that was at the time and it's someone like who freaks out and always thinks there's something wrong with them like like I said like I thought I had cancer diabetes like something so bad so he talked to me and he was like I'm just gonna put you on the lowest dosage of it's like called serotralin and he said you'll feel so much better he asked me he was like so how much do you exercise and I was like I never exercise like I legit never exercise and he was like okay you need to start running like every single day like where your heart's pounding like you're in sweat like every single day doing like a hardcore physical activity then he tells me he's like we he's like we're gonna have to just do a little blood test though just to make sure you know uh you don't maybe have an overactive thyroid because a lot of times when people have bad anxiety it's because their thyroid's acting up make sure you know it's not something else and I was like oh my god no there really is something like wrong with me it's not just anxiety anyway 
they took my blood. It was done. I remember I sat up and I was like, I cannot believe people were just taking blood out of my body. Like it makes me sick talking about it right now. You leave, go get my medicine. I come back home and I literally ran around our neighborhood with my sister and I immediately just started feeling so much better. Also, I remember like what the, that week that I was getting on that medication, I was like, oh my God, like my blood results are gonna come back and say something that's majorly wrong. That's really what's going on. It's not just anxiety, something's wrong. And I remember like, they never came back and so like it was only like the fourth day I was like mom can you just call them and see if they came back she called them and the nurse was like oh yeah like she's fine she said she does have a little bit of a vitamin D deficiency but nothing too big I take like 800 I use a day of vitamin D I remember I was like, oh my God. like I'm healthy like nothing's wrong with me like the next two weeks like taking that like it really took my body kind of a little time to get used to working out like every day like running like hardcore and I remember like I got my bible out and I was like listening to podcasts which by the way like that is a big tip like I always like listen to the Joel Olstein podcast and just like funny podcasts like theory podcasts actually one of the podcasts that like always like I listen to like when I need to laugh or just like want to just like listen to something that's like really interesting and cool it's called the nonsense podcast and some of my friends like just started it some guys that I went to school with the nonsense podcast I'm gonna link it down below it's really good you guys should check it out um, they're really funny and just like something just fun to listen to if you're ever like stressed or just want something to listen to So yeah podcast um, like I just started getting into my Bible more like pinning scriptures on Pinterest Like running drinking a lot more water like eating more healthier and like after a week like I don't I literally felt so much better really what helped me too was just talking to a professional that told me like Everything's okay. Like it, it's literally anxiety. Nothing's wrong with you like all your symptoms it's anxiety like they can cause you to they can make you think like something else is going on finally felt like myself again the rest of senior year was good um last summer was great and then going off into college that was a big step but i still like i was nervous the first week of college but like nothing at all like what i probably would have been like if i wasn't on that medication and like really like doing my stuff that my doctor told me to do from there on out i was literally like a new person like i felt well not a new person i felt like me again like myself i remember the whole time those few weeks before like i finally went to the doctor and like i was just suffering i was like what is causing this like i legit like didn't know what was causing it i remember my mom was like presley like why are you so nervous people would be like why are you nervous and i was like i don't know and not knowing made me more nervous so after i finally like came back to my senses and like whatever um i really believe that like i was so nervous because i remember just those first few weeks of senior year and pretty much the whole year was dedicated to like where are you going to college like getting your applications filled out getting your fafsa filled out like getting your dorm info together like it was so much and i just felt like i was literally like getting thrown out to the sharks like i just remember i was like those like just constantly being around like those discussions and like the paperwork and the writing essays like while being a high school student and just like but just constantly being around the pressure of like you're about to like take this big next step i think that was literally making me so nervous and that's why i had that first like i think i had that panic attack because i remember at the lunch table that day we were talking about like college and something like an app some application and i think and i mean i had been around that for all those weeks and like it just i think it finally just boggled up and i just like my body just couldn't like i was just overwhelmed with talking about this next big chapter in my life that I really like I was ready for but like I really don't think I was yeah that's kind of like my whole story but I wanted to say like so you know I took that for like a year and a half and a few months ago like right before I moved back home I was like I'm just gonna slowly start taking myself off of this medicine and just like deal with it myself full-heartedly like I don't want to keep taking these chemicals like it God made like God made gave someone the mind to make these like it's not a bad thing but I was just like I just want to deal with this and like be off of it it's like the hardest thing I've ever done like I remember like it was took me about three four weeks to fully get off because I would take one not take it like for two days take another you know just like every other day and then I'd start breaking them in half and they were like literally so small but I mean I had to like get my body adjusted and I just remember like those like it was probably like two three weeks like I really just felt so bad like I would get like oh like tired I would like get kind of dizzy but I mean that's the side effects of getting off like medicine like that but I remember I'm just gonna keep getting through this like I'm not gonna put myself back on it I'm gonna get through it and you know really push myself second week of June like I was completely off and I was finally like I felt great again like the side effects all the like remnants of it got out of my body and I was like yes like 
I'm not going to say that I still don't have anxiety because actually like the last two weeks, probably three weeks, I've had it really bad on and off. Like it's not as bad as it was in the fall time because now I know how to better control it. But two days ago, I had one of those panic attacks that lasts like seven seconds, like out of nowhere. That day that it happened, I got back my apartment information and like what apartment number I'm going to be in and just all the stuff. And there were some things like that seemed, that I, had, I had questions about, so I like emailed the people and I just don't know. I just, I've kind of like this summer has kind of been a little tricky. We have been dealing with some like family things and just like life stuff. And so I think like it. I mean, I know, like, that's where it came from. It's just, I always have to figure out where, like, they come from. Like, where, like, my anxiety's coming from because it makes me feel better. But that's so annoying. Like, I'm just like, oh, my God, I just have it. You know, like, I just am a person that gets more stressed out. But that's when I have to start running, exercising, eating, and really becoming closer to God because that's what always puts me and brings me back home. If you're a believer, like, I, that is, he is your saving grace. Like, he's going to bring you back down to earth and, like, just... Ooh, I was listening to some of my Joel Osteen podcasts today in the last two days, and I literally, you know, I had that panic attack two days ago, and then last night I was like, oh, I have to turn this on. I literally feel so much better. Get well soon. That is an anthem. That literally, that song is how I feel so much of the time. Like, the lyrics couldn't be more true. Like, they relate to me and hit me on such a personal level more than any other lyric ever has. Like, the part where it says, girl, what's wrong with you? Come back down. Because people will always be like, what is wrong with you? And I'd be like, I literally feel like I'm floating in the sky. Like, I can't explain it, but I don't feel like I'm actually here. And like she says, my body's here on earth, but I'm floating. Couldn't relate any more to that line. The main reason I wanted to make this video and why I'm like really giving my whole story and just talking about it is because I feel like when you talk about it and you like other people say, oh my God, I've had the same stuff happen. Like I feel like the dizziness or just like, just those like little, little, like five seconds, like, like worry, panic attacks. Like, and when people like can relate to you and feel the same way, it makes me feel so much better. Cause I'm like, oh, I'm not the only person like that. I'm not dying from something. I want to say like, why I started my YouTube channel is really because I was like starting my new life, my new part of life, like going off to college, like big things. And I really wanted to like film my experience and just show you guys and other people, like people going off to college or just people going on a new life experiences that it's okay. Like it's okay. Like people make life out to be so scary and like, but, and there are times when it's scary. I'm not going to lie, but like, it's okay. At the end of the day, you're okay. Like, there's so many people that are in the same position you are. I've had so many people reach out to me and say, like, oh, my God, your videos make me feel so much better about going off to college or, like, whatever. And that's, like, the main goal of this whole channel and the whole like, point of me even making this video is, like, I just want to reach out and tell, like, if anybody's feeling nervous about going off to college or, like, having, like, such bad anxiety where, like, you feel like you're dying, you're not, you're not really dying. It's just anxiety and, like, calm down. You're going to be okay college is not a scary thing. Somebody messaged me the other day and said, I'm getting anxiety thinking about getting anxiety at college. Literally, I feel the same way. Like all the time I think about that, like senior year, I was like, oh my God, I just don't want to get to tech and have anxiety. And that was making me have anxiety thinking about that. I just want to say too, like it's going to get better. Like I really know one day, like I'm not going to have anxiety. Like, and I know I will, I just have to continue to work on it. I really hope that if I could just reach one person out there that has felt the same way or like that I can make a, feel a little better like that's that's it like I'm done like we're good we're good so anyway thank you guys so so much for watching get well soon you're gonna get through this it's gonna be fun you're gonna be fine okay I'll see you in the next video bye